following presentation is for mature audiences only. Who are you? He's a fine man. All hell is broken loose. He's a great broadcaster. He's a very powerful guy. Absolutely brilliant. Feared by men, adored by women. He's a smart boy. It's patriotic. It's no big deal. It's the end of the world. I might as well tell you now. He's a monkey. And how you doing, ladies and germs and bald-headed worms? Welcome in to another edition of The Wild Side with Eric Clark. I am your host, Eric Clark, saying thank you for taking time out of your busy day to give my video a watch and a listen. If you dig it, dig it. If other people are going to dig it, give it a share. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel and you're following me on all of the social media platforms. That way, if there's a band, a song, a video, something you want me to check out, you can hit me up with a DM or leave it in the comment section below. Just do me a favor if you're going to leave the comment. A, be polite, and B, just go through. If someone's already made your suggestion, just leave a like and an I concur. That'll help me put everything into a nice little list. I can get it into the handy-dandy notebook, which is getting pretty filled up. So I'm looking forward to the tax-free back-to-school weekend so I can get some more handy-dandy notebooks. And again, I apologize if in the background you hear the ambient sound of my youngest son. He is gaming with his friends. I think today they're doing Fortnite because a new chapter came out. So if you hear some screaming in the background, that is my kid trying to take over the world or whatever. And I think this chair makes me look fat. Maybe I should wear vertical stripes. I don't know if it's a self-conscious thing. But anyway, before we get started in today's video, I do want to say thank you to Aspen Dental, Connect 200, Music 2C, and Gothic Jewelry. Click the link, enter the code, get your discount. My Bucky's cup is filled, and I'm ready to take on today. This will be the first of three videos we're actually publishing today, so keep an eye out for that. Again, thank you to everybody for your suggestions, your help with understanding what everything is. So I appreciate your patience, and I appreciate your understanding. Today's video is coming via suggestion from a previous video I did of the band, and they're coming to Nashville October 3rd. It's a Monday, along with Epica. Sabaton will be playing the historic Ryman Auditorium, and I'm going to tell you something right now. First and foremost, one of the best venues to see a show. The the acoustics in this place are just absolutely incredible. So the Ryman Auditorium is a great place to see a show, and Nashville is a great destination. So if you have an opportunity, make a week of it, make a few days of it, come down to Nashville, see Sabaton on Monday, October 3rd. Hit me up with a DM, maybe we'll go out, throw some darts, and uh, have a beer. So today's video is coming off of the heels of their video Bismarck that I did. Somebody had sent me a video from this show, The Great Tour, of the song Bismarck, and it was shot from upstage, and it, it kind of didn't it didn't do it for me. If you're going to introduce me to the band, especially a live video, you know I, I want to see the um, I want to see the show, right? I want to see the fireworks. I want to see the stage set. I want to see all that. So I went and watched the the official video for Bismarck, which was absolutely incredible, by the way. So I'm really stoked on this band. I love how they incorporate history into their music it's very niche i I don't think there's going to be another band that does something like this i mean they own this genre without a doubt so they they said you need to check out this band uh not the band the song Eind Livsted i krieg live in gothenburg on the great tour because it gives a great shot of the audience participation so that's what we're going to check out today i believe the translated translates to a lifetime of war again fill me in with everything i get wrong this is sabaton a lifetime of war because i'm going to butcher the german pronunciation of the song so here we go okay okay I'm sure I got Gothenburg wrong as well. I'm an American. I will ask before we get into it, are, are those all phones? Or are these things that were handed out prior to the show for them to do this? Because if that's if that's everybody's personal phone that they're doing that with right off. That is absolutely incredible right there. Absolutely phenomenal. If that's everybody's phones, that's crazy. And, a, and you know, I hope you have your charger handy. Yeah, that's crazy.
There you go. See, that's what I was wanting to see. I said a sabaton ein Livsted e Krieg. Again, I, I hope I'm saying that correctly. I'm probably uh, not. That was the great tour. Gothenburg, Gothenburg. Again, I'm an American, so I'm going to say things incorrectly. So fill me in everything down below. Let me get to the music part of it before I get to the lyrics, because the lyrics are, you know, surprisingly tragically motivating uh, in a strange way. But musically, that is such a classic texture of a song right there. And that guitar solo was really rich in legacy. And I, I love the tone. I believe Tommy was getting out of that guitar. It was it was this really, you know, it was like this chair. You know, it was a very comfortable, um, homey feel to the tone that he was getting from that guitar. And again, the Swedish Chuck Liddell, the lead singer, Joaquin uh, or or Joachim. Again, fill me in down below. Here we have, you know, Joaquin Phoenix, Joachim Noah. So, it, it, you know, I'm not sure how he goes by that name, but. Yeah, he's really good. That is such a great metal. Um, he has this this way of conveying this um, command. It's a really it, it's this thing that you're taught in the military. This command of tone, right? And if you're if you're able to convey a certain tone when you speak with people, you can command their attention through this tone. And he's really good at singing in that way. Uh, a lot of times guys are going are, are gonna to stretch to get to the points where he's getting, and he's just really good at keeping that thick, rich, um, you know, that classic foundation to his delivery. And when you're delivering songs like this, you need that command, and he's really good at that command. The drummer, I like how the drummer would go back and forth between the traditional metal drumming of a band drummer to the, you know, March drum. Uh, it was really cool how he mixed that up in there. So that was a really good track, musically speaking. Obviously very impactful when you can get 15,000 people to sing it back to you in unison that way and basically take over the song. I've had an opportunity to speak with bands and ask them on occasion about this, about when, a, when, a, when you're on stage and you're singing a song and you're, you're knee deep in your set you're in a rhythm, you guys are grooving, you're in a pocket, so to speak, you're lathered, if you will, and then all of a sudden, it's taken over by the audience, and I don't know if it's expected, I don't know if that was a surprise for them, but I could see that it was very humbling for them to, to suddenly be hit with that wall of appreciation, because that's really what it is. And Dave Grohl once said that he writes a song for one reason, 80,000 people sing it back for 80,000 different reasons. And I really like the, the way that the band just allowed that to happen. That shows a great deal of humility. It shows a great deal of, of reciprocation of respect. And I think there's a mutual love that you can see come through in that. Um, and that's really, it's something that, you know, I've talked about this before about going when people say, Hey, go check out this band, especially if it's live. One of the main factors of a band's success is their relationship with the crowd. The, the movie, the, the movie gladiator has this line that I've used for anyone who works in the field of performance Anyone who works in a field where you are dependent upon the reaction of the crowd. I've always said that line from Gladiator is the perfect line when he says, win the people, win your freedom. Win the people, win your freedom. Win the people, it doesn't matter what the guy in the tie says or the girl in the tie says. Win the people, win your freedom. So they've obviously won the people and there's a mutual sharing of this moment here that's really um deep it's very uh not life altering that's not what i'm saying but for the people in the crowd this is a memory that will carry through the rest of their life uh this this specific memory they're going to remember everything about that moment that they shared together and i think that that is one of the most important qualities in a band is to have their audience leave that show 
and 30, 40 years later can instantly go back to what it smelled like, what it sounded like, what, what the, the pressure of the crowd you were in felt like. You know, there are these moments for people, and I'm glad that those folks got to experience that with the band. And the song itself, I made the comment of, you know, tragically motivating. I, I don't want to get into the psychology or the machinations of a soldier. That's, uh, I save that for group. Um, because it's all individual and it's all very unique, especially the closer you get to the, the, the impact of a round, uh, the further down range you are, uh, the closer you are to the smells and sights and sounds, the more difficult of a time you have expressing what that was like to other people. But there are certain aspects of this that I can uh, generalize. There are certain aspects of it I can generalize. The, um, you know, I have a lot of friends who never got over the age of 20. They'll always be 20 years old. They'll always be that young guy. While I've gone and lived an entire life since, you know, married, kids, tragedy, all that other stuff, to me, they, the tragedy for them is that they will always be 19, 20, 21 years old. So it's a, it's a difficult thing to not only reconcile with someone else, I, I really understand the reconciliation with yourself. And, you know, is anyone going to remember? They're very difficult. Like I said, they're very difficult emotions, A, to process as a human, and B, to translate when you're trying to talk about them. So, But one of the more important things that was in that song that is a very common thread that I, I've noticed Sabaton really is good about incorporating in the the mood of their music, which is home. Um, home to a soldier is a different place than you think. Um, it's far more important than you think, and it's not just a place. It's it's um, it's a smell. It's a it's a hug. It's a infantilization of your moment. And they're really good about tapping into that. So there were parts of the song where I was having a difficult time because I remember what it was like to just want to go home. You know, you just want to go home, man. I just want to go home. Mostly that's out of fear. But they're really good. I like what Sabaton does because they're really good about tapping into those those emotions that are difficult for the soldier to express once the adrenaline dies down, once the, uh, I just had a conversation where I made a comment with a friend of mine who had a close call, took about a half an hour and then he freaked out. And I was like, yeah, that's a, that's a very common thing. So once that subsides and you're able to try to process everything, it's really hard to express some of those emotions and Sabaton have been really good from what I've seen about tapping in to that emotion. So it was a really good display of a great relationship and chemistry that a good band has with a great crowd. So I'm looking forward to October 3rd. There Again, Sabaton will be at the Ryman Auditorium with Epica on Monday, October 3rd. So if you want to take a, a trip down to Music City, I highly recommend seeing a show at the Ryman Auditorium. And knowing how their, their, their stage sets are and their show is, um, I'm wondering how tight that's going to be inside the Ryman Auditorium or how they're going to trim that down. So that'll be interesting to see as well. And if you are going to go to the show, again, hit me up. Maybe we'll go grab a beverage. I won't go to a honky-tonk, though. I do not go to honky You can't even pay me. You cannot pay me to go downtown Nashville on the weekends. Uh, you really can't. So thank you very much for that. That was Sabaton, A Lifetime of War from Gothenburg. Gothenburg, again, I'm probably saying it. Uh, incorrectly. Thank you very much for that. That was good to see. That is how a shot like that should be done. That was very well done. Great interaction. Great song as well. Good tone through the music. Good message through the lyrics. Again, tragically motivating uh, is how I would put that. So thank you very much for that. Um, that was Sabaton, A Lifetime of War. Thank you for the suggestion. Thank you for all the explanation and the stories that you're going to give me and corrections down below. Thank you to Aspen Dental, Connect 200 Music 2C, and Gothic Jewelry. Click the link, enter the code, get your rings. Make sure you are following me on all the social media platforms and you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. Hit that notification button. And of course, if you have a suggestion, leave it, read it, like it. I concur. 
the whole thing. Thank you again for taking time out of your busy day to watch my video. Make sure you're looking out for each other. Make sure you're looking out for your neighbor. Try to do at least one good thing a day. I am Eric Clark, and this has been The Wild Side. (laughs) 